Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Book Talk Wednesdays with Miss Brianne. In this book talk series, I provide brief little book talks on the graphic novels and the easy readers that we hear we here at the children's department have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library in hopes that we encourage you to visit us here at the library to check out these amazing books for yourself. Now this week I'm going to focus on two easy readers from this very unique series called the Tadpoles. Now they write many short brief books. They're designed for readers who are just starting to learn to read but may need a little extra help. And these books are perfect for that. And they also sometimes even take fairy tales and twist them in a different point of view. Cool, huh? So today I'm going to talk about two books in these series. The first series is called Ben and the Big Balloon. Well, the second, first book in the series is called Ben and the Big Balloon. And the second book I'm going to talk about is Little Bad Writing Hood. Now, the author of Ben the Big Balloon is Sue Graves, and the illustrator for Ben the Big Balloon is Helen Jackson. And the author of Little Bad Writing Hood is Julia Jarman, and the illustrator for Little Bad Writing Hood is Jane Cope. And the publisher for both books is the Crabtree Publishing Company. Now, in Ben the Big Balloon, the little boy named Ben gets a balloon. And that's amazing, right? But what happens when Ben is too late for the balloon and the balloon starts making him fly away? What will happen? Will he stay flying away forever? Or will something happen that makes him lose his excitement for fly flying with the balloon? In Little Bad Riding Hood, this is a great twist on Little Red Riding Hood. You know how in the original story, Little Red Riding Hood's nice and sweet and is willing to do anything for her sick grandmother? Eh, not so much with this character. She tries to be good, but she always tends to make some mistakes. And she is taking treats, like cakes, to her grandmother's house. But she's not supposed to talk to strangers, and she talks to one anyway. And then she does something that gets her into quite a bit of trouble. What will she do? Will she be, be able to find a way out? If you want to know what happens in this, I'm not going to tell you the ending. You have to read it to find out in this amazing little twist to a classic fairy tale. Now, I love these books. Ben and the Big Balloon, if you see the illustrations, they almost look like rough draw crayon, look like crayon drawings over a rough piece of paper. And it gives it like a textured look, which I love. It makes it very childlike, and children can identify with it more. I can also identify with it more because Miss Brienne can't really draw to save her life. But the text is very simplistic. It's large print, so it's easy to see. And it's one or two, like one or two sentences that kids can read and very easy to follow along with. This one is a little bit harder. It's on a little bit of a higher level. But the action flows very smoothly. It does follow along with the classics, but it does give a twist. And the illustrations are very detailed and colorful as well. And both of these books come with guides for parents on helping their child read and, and telling them about what questions to ask the child and so forth, having them retell the story in their own words. And as an added bonus, Little Bad Riding Hood even has a couple of puzzles that kids can solve, like matching the quotes with characters or putting title cards in, in order based on the story. It does have the answers in the back, but have the child try and figure it out for themselves before they look for the answers. But overall, these are great books. Wonderful if your kid is just getting started with reading 
maybe has already learned to read a little bit but needs a little bit of extra help. This one's a little bit more for advanced readers, but this one's just perfect for that, for that beginner. All in all, I give this series 5 out of 5 stars, and I do recommend it for those early elementary students who are learning to read or are starting to read but need that little bit of extra help. And this is Miss Brienne. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next week.